Welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. In today's show, we are going to implement virtual networking. And there will be a number of tasks we will be doing as part of this show. Task 1 will be creating and configuring a virtual network. So if you see this boundary here, this is known as virtual network AZ104-04VNet1. The second task will be to deploy virtual machines into the virtual network. So these two boxes inside the VNet, which are subnet 0 and subnet 1, inside those you see these two blue machines. These are virtual machines. And then uh, we will configure the private and public IP addresses. So here uh, you see the IP addresses. These are the, this one is the uh, private IP address and the other one is the public IP. We will see how to configure that and this green uh, card you see here that is known as network interface card we will see that in more detail once we are going through the lab uh, task 4 is to configure the nsg network security groups so you see here the task 4 this is network security group it will uh, secure the network we will see that uh, more in the video and task five is to configure the um, Azure DNS. So we will see how to configure that as well. So guys, this is one of the labs of Azure Administrator. It's also present on the Microsoft Learning website. And this is just the video version of it. So let's dig in and see how this can be done. But before that, a small intro. Let's start with the task one, which is to create and configure a virtual network. So let's search for virtual network. Click on create. Select the subscription, create a resource group. If it doesn't exist, I'll create the same as mentioned in the lab. In the VNet as the same AZ. 10404vnet1 region i'll select as australia southeast as i am in australia and then click next ip address enter this value in the ip address space click add subnet and add subnet 0 and subnet range as this. So you see here, this is the uh, virtual network IP address you have defined here. And this subnet range is within that IP range. It gives 251 plus five Azure reserved addresses. So basically it's 256 and five are always reserved addresses. Now accept all the defaults and click on add and create. Alrighty, so deployment is in progress. Deployment is complete. We will go to the resource. We will go to the virtual network blade and click on subnets and then click add subnet so you see here subnet 0 is already there now we will add subnet 1 right subnet 1 and the address range we will define as this nsg you see here it's defined as none route table none all right click on save so now it's adding subnet 1 to the virtual network. See here, subnet 0 and subnet 1 both are added to this virtual network. So this completes our task number 1. Alrighty, so task 2 is to deploy the virtual machines into this virtual network. Go to the home and now here you see at the top it's Azure Cloud Shell. Click on that. If you don't have a storage mounted, you have to create one. So click on create a storage. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty, so now we are connected to PowerShell. Here uh, we have to upload two templates provided in the lab. So we will upload those two templates. Here is the icon to upload and download files. Click on that. Click on upload. Lab 4 and these are the two files. Once we upload the files, paste the code for deploying the two virtual machines using the template and parameter files we uploaded. So you see here, uh, it's going to the same resource group we, which we created earlier and it's using the same JSON files. Now we have to wait for a few minutes for virtual machines to get deployed. I'll pause this video here and we will return back once the virtual machines are deployed. Alrighty, we see here the virtual machines are created. Here you can see the VM count as 2. Our task 2 is now completed. Let's close the Cloud Shell pane. And if you see here, both our virtual machine are present inside our uh, resource group. The first machine is VM0, the second one is VM1. So now let's start with the task 3, which is to configure private and public IP addresses of Azure VMs. So in this task, uh, basically we will configure the static assignment of public and private IP addresses assigned to network interfaces of Azure virtual machines. Now let's go to the VNet1, which is this. These two uh, you see as the connected devices, NIC0 and NIC1. So basically, uh, these are the network interface card of the virtual machines which are attached to this virtual network. And this was done as part of the uh, deployment we did in the previous task. Now click on NIC0 and here under the settings click on IP configurations. So here you see the private IP address is configured with the dynamic setting. Right now click on IP config 1 select associate click create new under public IP address and name the public IP address as this ending PIP0 select this as a standard SKU and click on OK set this assignment to static and leave the default IP address 10.40.0.4 as it is now click on the save button it will create a new public IP address and make sure to wait for the save operation to get completed before we proceed to the next step it will take some time all right so it shows the uh, IP address is created and it's saved for NIC0. Now um, go back to the VNet and click on NIC1. So for NIC0 we have done, uh, we have created the address. Now click on NIC1. To the same option, IP configurations here and click on IP config1. Click on associate create new public IP address and name this as PIP1 ending PIP1 again SKU as a standard right and click on OK now remember to click on save again and wait until this gets completed okay this got saved successfully now go back to the resource group uh, this is the one which you created as part of this lab and go to the virtual machine a uh, vm0 the first virtual machine so our private ip address and public ip address is configured all right so you can see here private ip address and here public ip address 
Now let's go to task number four, which is to configure the network security group. Now let's go to VM zero and click on connect, click RDP and download the RDP file. Click on connect. So you see here the connection attempt fails. So this is expected because public IP addresses of the standard SKU by default require that the network interfaces to which they are assigned are protected by a network security group. So in order to allow remote desktop connections, you will create a network security group explicitly allowing inbound RDP traffic from internet and assigning it to the network interfaces of both the virtual machines. All right. So uh, let's search for click on OK here and let's search for um, network security group. Right. You see here in the drop down. Click on create. Select the resource group NSG as this ending NSG 01 region same as Australia Southeast whichever region you are doing this lab and click on review plus create reviews done validation pass now click on create alrighty deployment is complete let's go to the resource this is the NSG the network security group as you see here in the settings section click on the inbound security rules because now we have to allow the RDP connection so we have to add a setting here so click on add source any source port range as a star so that it allows all the ports destination any RDP select the RDP service from here and action allow priority you can change to 300 so you see here uh, rules are processed in priority order the lower the number the higher the priority right and Microsoft recommends leaving gaps in between the rules so that it's easier to add um, any new rules without having to ed edit the existing rules name we can give as allow RDP inbound right now click on add it's creating a security rule click on refresh you should be able to see it right now uh, click on network interfaces and click on associate now you have to associate this NSG with both NIC 0 and NIC 1 so NIC 0 is for the virtual machine 1 the network interface card click on OK click again on associate and click on NIC 1 click OK so it's uh, network interface is saved and we see here uh, both the virtual machines are now associated with the network security group right now uh, let's navigate back to our VM0 virtual machine resource group and this one VM0 and now again click on connect click RDP download the RDP file and click on connect now select a different account and type in the credentials as provided in the lab student as the username and the mentioned password click on OK you see you are able to connect we are inside the virtual machine this window is the virtual machine window so let's leave this window open and as we will need it in the next task alrighty 
so task 4 is also done now we move on to task 5 which is to configure azure dns for internal name resolution let's search for private dns zones it's here click on that click on create select the resource group and name this instance as contoso.org make sure there is no space click on review plus create hit on create deployment is completed let's go to the resource and click virtual network links and click on add give the link name as this which makes sense and select the virtual network here which is again vnet1 which we created earlier click on enable auto registration so if you see here this setting enables automatic creation of dns records in the private dns zone for the virtual machines connected to this virtual network right click on ok see here it's creating the virtual network link okay the link is created now now if we go to the overview and you see here both the virtual machines are auto registered and both the uh, private ip addresses you can see here right so uh now to check this go to the remote desktop connection hope you haven't closed that this is the virtual machine if you see here at the top it's mentioned as vm0 and let's go to the start button here right click and say windows PowerShell admin Alrighty, once you run the ns lookup commands in the PowerShell console window you see the private IP addresses are returned for VM0 and VM1 right so these are the private IP addresses so hope uh, all this makes sense how to um, create DNS for internal name resolution so I hope uh, all these five tasks you guys are able to follow in this video and if there are any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section thank you for watching this video and if you do like this video please give it a big thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to power cubicle guy thank you guys and see ya